Hello, Katherine Emery here, home improvement lifestyle expert. Guess what? I'm the official National Hardware Show correspondent. I am so stoked. I get to walk around these shows, show floors and show you the coolest, latest innovation in home products. I, in my head, the National Hardware Show is the original Shark Tank because for 75 years, they've been bringing in inventors and small businesses, connecting them with the big boxes and really getting all those products that you know and love on the shelves in your house today. And there is more to come. So let's go check the coolest things out. Trent with Ukiah. He's the CEO, he's the inventor, he's the founder. In fact, it was kind of hard to find their booth because don't you just feel like we're in his backyard right now? So Trent, tell me, tell me about your, your inspiration for creating this cool space and inventing your amazing products. Oh, well, so we, uh, we identified there was a hole in the market where audio and fire are two things that go together for, you know, oh, for, yeah. for as long as, as time probably exists. And so we decided we'd uh, create an entire ba brand based on audio and, and fire. So we created uh, technology that shoots fire to music, and that's kind of our staple feature. But uh, then we focus on high quality fire pits, unique, uh, unique approach to this entire market. Most people are sitting around a fire listening to music, and so we wanted to cr create a brand and uh, products that encompass all of that. Isn't that, it's so amazing because it's so simple because you're chilling outside, yeah. you want a fire pit going, yep. you're listening to the tunes, put them together, and I love it because the flames actually dance yeah. to the music. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Love so, it. Yeah. so where can we find you, Kaya? Where can we find your products? Everywhere. I we love sell, it. Yeah, we they sell, should be. Yeah, They're we sell amazing. Everywhere. Yeah, Costco, Home Depot, uh, Walmart, Target, you name it. We sell everywhere. We did uh, Europe. We just opened up Europe this year. So Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Does that mean you need an Italian uh, press person to come with you? I'm yeah, available. I think we do. Yeah, I think Ciao. we do. Ciao. Buongiorno. I mean, we're All going. Right. Right. Andiamo. Andiamo. You're, you're hired. You're hired. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations. I am, I am so excited for you because this product is next level. Thank you it's very amazing. Much. Yeah, thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah. So, good luck with everything. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So, I'm with uh, the Naughty Rough Girls. You can see I've clearly found my posse at the National Hardware Show. Oh, and by the way, the product's freaking amazing and family owned. So, I'm here with Lisa. Lisa, give me, give me just a quick overview that you told me about Naughty Rough. Yeah, so we are a small family owned business. We're located in Woodland, California. Um, what's unique about us is that we have full chain of custody. We're the only pellet on the market that. Uh, actually has the full chain of custody, which means we go, we harvest the trees, we run them through the rotor chopper, we bring them back to the mill, we bag them, and then we ship them. And another unique uh, part of us is that we use the whole tree, the bark included, which we're the only pellet that uh, does that on the market. Um, that's amazing. Yeah. That is, that, that's what, I mean, so, so you know when you pick up a bag of body and throw it in your pellet, you know that those pellets have been taken care of from the, from the birth to where they are today, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Because because like we said, ladies, with naughty rub pellets, we wanna pour some pellets on me. My shirt. Going over. Dude. Actually, it is really good. Yeah, it is. I need another one, actually. <laughs> Are the cameras off now? Because I'm going to eat this tray. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is this on brand? It's marketing 101. Okay, right? so I'm here with Go Fire. Okay, so they make portable fires that are food safe. So they're, show me the fire starter again. Yeah, so Here's a little fire starter here, yep. right? So this will, how long will this so you last? Just light the corner of that. That'll burn for eight to 10 minutes, burns at 800 degrees. Amazing. So it'll get your charcoal, fire pit, campfire, any indoor or outdoor fire started. No smell, no smoke. 30 year shelf life, pack it right next to your wow, clothes. That's amazing. And then this is like the portable bonfire to go. Yep. So I want them to say at go, go fire, I'm feeling hot, 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 but they wouldn't do it. But maybe if I give them like five more of these, they'll do it. So check <laughs> well, back since for the we next own video. The trademark, why don't we say, okay. we'll get your pit Okay, lit. ready? Ready? One, two, three. Get your, your pit, pit lit! lit. We are here with Luke from Trent.
Traeger. And for those of you that don't know what a pellet grill is, Google Traeger right now because they are the innovators in this space, the inventors of the pellet grill. So Luke, let's talk about, I love like Traeger Nation, right? Like yeah. let's talk about how you create such a lifestyle around your brand because it really is so much more than just a pellet grill. I feel like you guys almost have like a following, you know, it's just a lifestyle. When we got involved with this brand seven years ago, we looked at like, you know, what could we learn and take from our past? A lot of us came from action sports brands and lifestyle brands. And a true lifestyle brand is something that someone will wear on their hat. When we see the Traeger, Traeger hat on somebody's head, we know that they love our brand. And I think Traeger cultivates that, that uh, our community by engaging them, not only before they buy a grill, but after they buy the grill. A lot of other brands kind of give up and move on to the next consumer. We engage our customers throughout the whole life cycle. I love it. We, we, uh, we work with tons of chefs, barbecue, I mean, everything from like five-star Michelin restaurants like that use Traeger grills all, all the way to the backyard barbecue pit masters and everything in between. And people just love the Traeger. We have on our on our app and on our website, we have 1,600 different recipes and oh, YouTube channels. Oh, that's amazing. Channels. And you also make your own pellets because a lot of companies yeah. don't make their own pellets. So what you've got, hickory, you've got apple, you've oh, yeah. got, help me out, you've got a whole like, bunch of, well, uh, the standard flavors all the way from pecan and mesquite, hickory. I, my favorites are apple and hickory. I mix yes. those two. And then we have a oh, lot of blends, like a, a signature blend. And, and we have a new Matt Pittman Meat Church blend that's out there now that guys are using on big cuts of meat like briskets yeah, and yeah. steaks and things like that. Sure. But a true food grade pellet is going to be made just from hardwood. And, and the only thing that holds it together is the lignans in the wood or the sap, sure. the moisture. Uh -huh. And it's pressurized through there so it's per creates perfect conditions each and oh every my time God, you're I love it. And apple and pecan. Yeah. I want to be on like the committee on the next one. The next yeah. Because they're so cool. Right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. You know, I got to run because you've got like five things over there that I have to eat before I run around the show. So thank you for lunch. Let's go well. eat some Traeger. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, guys. Thanks. Aren't they freaking gorgeous? I had to come over. So this is the Wanderer. This is a five-in-one chair. So it goes from a cart to a cot to a lounger to a low beach chair and a high beach chair. So or a high would you call it camping chair? Camping chair. Yeah. Camping. camping chair. So so uh, I mean it's amazing. Look at how easy. Now did you did you order I the mean, margaritas like I requested, ladies? Is this a fan? Oh, I thought she was yes. gonna start fanning me. No, but you guys see it's just <laughs> number one, these two ladies invented this. Don't mind me. They sold everything. They live in an RV because they are gonna take this product when you see this product product in Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, Amazon, and they're rich, we'll invite you to the party. That's how good this product is. But check it out, the Wanderer, the five in one. So it does everything. It does everything, it really does. Okay, you guys, I'm here, I'm in uh, IMC Outdoor Living. They do recycled rubber landscape. They're focused on landscape. They use over 200 million tires and they use everything, the rubber, the steel, all the parts, and they make great things. We've got mulch here, we've got edging, we've got a beautiful pavers here. The thing I love it is they've got a stone look, but you get rubber benefits, meaning they're gonna last a really long time. They're gonna withstand, they're not gonna crack, they're gonna keep their color. So I have wood mulch out in my yard, and the thing is, Plants go, weeds go through it, bugs are attracted to it, it loses its color. Sometimes I don't, can't even find it. So isn't this amazing? And I just love the fact that they, they use the recycled rubber. So IMC Outdoor Living, you've gotta check it out. Okay, and then I, I just found this. So you put this in your garage. So remember the old school tennis ball that your grandma used to hang to tell you where to stop to park? So this is a really cool item, again, made from 100% recycled rubber that you can put in your garage. Because I don't know about you, but I might have closed the garage door on my husband's car a couple times. I fixed it, he didn't know, but maybe now he knows, whoops. But anyway, I'm gonna put a couple of these in there and then that won't happen. So check them out, IMC Outdoor Living. I just love, I love the fact that they're products that are good, that are built to last, but they have that sustainability feature. So you can feel good about using them and you know they're gonna work and you're not gonna have to redo your husband's bumper.
All right, you guys, so as you saw, we saw some amazing products. We didn't even get to cover it all. I covered some stuff on my morning news show, so be sure to tune in, click around me, but the National Hardware Show was just an amazing show. It brought great inventors. We saw new things. We saw really excited people. We heard there were some big retailers out here. There were some deals made. We were judging uh, food contests. We had some great panels. Home Depot and some great content creators. So I am so excited to see what next year has in store. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.